Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. In this video, we will discuss the Catholic Church's position on the death penalty. The Church has always had a clear and firm stance on human dignity and the value of life. However, throughout history, the death penalty has been practiced by many governments and societies, including with the support of religious leaders. So, what is the Catholic Church's position on the death penalty nowadays? Let's find out. For many years, the Catholic Church accepted and supported the death penalty, especially in cases of serious crimes such as murder. However, over time, the Church's understanding of human dignity and the protection of life has changed. In 1995, Pope John Paul II wrote an encyclical called Evangelium Vitae, in which he stated that the death penalty is inadmissible and should be abolished worldwide. This change in the Catholic Church's position on the death penalty is the result of an evolution in the understanding of human dignity and justice. The Church has always maintained that each person is created in the image and likeness of God and therefore possesses an intrinsic dignity that must be protected. Although the Church has supported the death penalty in the past, it is also recognized that its application should be restricted to very limited cases and used only as a last resort. In fact, the death penalty was seen as a form of justice and protection of society against the most dangerous criminals. However, starting in the 20th century, the Church began to rethink this position in light of its understanding of human dignity and the value of life. The Declaration of the Second Vatican Council in 1965 stated that the death penalty should only be applied in very rare cases when other forms of punishment are insufficient to protect society. In 1995, Pope John Paul II issued the encyclical Evangelium Vitae, which reaffirmed the Church's position against the death penalty. He declared that capital punishment is inadmissible because it violates human dignity and denies the value of life. The Pope stated that the death penalty is cruel and unnecessary because there are other forms of punishment that protect society without denying the value of human life. Since then, the Catholic Church has been a strong advocate for the abolition of the death penalty worldwide. Several popes, including Benedict XVI and Francis, have advocated for this position in their public statements. The Church has argued that the death penalty is not an effective way to combat crime and that justice can be achieved without resorting to violence and death. Despite Pope John Paul II's clear position, the death penalty is still practiced in some countries, including some Catholic-majority countries. Some argue that the death penalty is necessary for justice and public safety, while others argue that it is ineffective and morally questionable. Additionally, some religious leaders and members of the Church still advocate for the death penalty in certain circumstances. This controversy has generated discussions within the Catholic Church about the position to be adopted regarding the death penalty. While some members of the Church believe that the death penalty is justifiable in certain cases, others argue that it is contrary to Christian teachings and human dignity. In 2018, Pope Francis issued a new official declaration, reaffirming the Church's position against the death penalty in all cases. He declared that the death penalty is unacceptable in all circumstances because it attacks the dignity of the human person and is a violation of human rights. Pope Francis also called on political leaders to work towards abolishing the death penalty worldwide. However, even with Pope Francis' clear position, there are still divisions within the Church regarding the death penalty. Some members of the Church, especially in countries where the death penalty is permitted by law, advocate for its use in extreme cases. Nevertheless, the official position of the Catholic Church is against the death penalty, and Church leaders continue to promote its abolition worldwide. It is important to note that the Catholic Church's position on the death penalty is constantly evolving as church leaders and faithful reflect on Christian teachings and social and cultural changes. 
In 2018, Pope Francis changed the Catechism of the Catholic Church to declare that the death penalty is inadmissible in all cases. He stated that the death penalty is contrary to human dignity and that the Church should strive to abolish this practice worldwide. Pope Francis also called on religious and political leaders to work together to promote justice, peace, and reconciliation. Since the change in the Catechism of the Catholic Church in 2018, the Church's official position on the death penalty has become even clearer and stronger. Pope Francis has emphasized that the death penalty is not only ineffective in promoting justice and public safety, but also contrary to human dignity and Christian teaching on the value of life. Pope Francis has been an active advocate for ending the death penalty worldwide and has worked to raise awareness of the moral and human consequences of this practice. In a speech to participants of a conference on the death penalty in 2019, he stated that the death penalty is a human failure that dehumanizes both victims and perpetrators. He also called on religious and political leaders to work together to promote alternatives to the death penalty, such as restorative justice, reconciliation, and social reintegration. The Catholic Church's current position on the death penalty is clear, it is inadmissible in all cases. The Church believes that every human being has inherent dignity, and that this dignity must be respected in all circumstances. As Christians, we believe that everyone deserves a second chance and that we should work to promote justice and peace through nonviolent and compassionate means. In summary, the Catholic Church's position on the death penalty is clear. The Church does not support the death penalty under any circumstances and seeks its abolition worldwide. The death penalty is seen as a violation of human dignity and an obstacle to justice and peace. As Catholics, we must defend human life in all its stages and fight against the death penalty and other forms of violence. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video to help us grow and bring Catholic information to every country of the world. Thank you for watching, and may God bless us all.